Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. So I hope you guys like it and um, I did try to use almost all drugstore products so I hope that is helpful as well. Everything I used, I'm pretty sure it's all super affordable. Um, I think there's a couple things that you can get at like little clothing boutiques that are not necessarily sold at Ulta. But yeah, let's dive right into the video. Okay guys, so starting off, I already have my base done, my uh, primer, foundation, concealer, and I set my face with translucent powder. And now I'm going to go into bronzer. I'm going to be starting off with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is my favorite drugstore bronzer. And for this video, I wanted to try to use mostly drugstore products. Just because I wanted this to be like um, holiday makeup inspo. And oh my gosh, the sun is going to be going in and out of the clouds today. I picked the cloudiest day to film, but if I don't film today, like I haven't had time because we've been Christmas shopping so much, and if I don't film today, then I know I'm not going to have time to do it. Um, and I just want to say thank you to the person that requested a holiday look. I wasn't going to film any holiday looks, but um, somebody did request it on my Instagram, so thank you for requesting it. Okay, next I'm going to dive into the eyes, and then we'll go back to the face. So I'm going to be filling in my brows and I'm just going to be using this LA Colors Brow Tint. I did feature this in a recent video. I don't think that video is going to be up before this one, but I've been using it nonstop since I tried it out and um, I've been really lazy with my brows. I'm letting them grow in again and I'm just being super lazy. So I'm just going to fluff this through my brows instead of like doing a structured brow. Feel free to do your brows however you usually do, but I've been just liking a very fluffy, more on the natural side brow. I wish you guys could smell my room. My room smells so good right now with the candles that I'm burning. So, so good. So, like I said, I'm just gonna be filling them in with this brow gel, brushing it through the hairs, letting my brows be nice and fluffy. Then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just kind of clean that up so it looks a little bit more like I'm not just letting my brows go wild. <laughs> I'm going to be diving in with the Beauty Creations palette. This is the Bedore Shadows palette. I don't really know how to say it, but it's a nice affordable palette. I'm trying to stick to drugstore prices. I'm going to be going in with this shade up top. I hope I'm in focus. I want very little of it in my crease. I just want enough to warm up the eye, but I don't want it to make my eye look like it has too much depth. I want to do the eyes very simple yet still very festive. So we're going to be just using two eyeshadows out of this palette. Next, I'm going to be putting this shade under my brow bone and this shade in the inner tear duct. I do really like a matte white cream color underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to lightly put that metallic shade in my inner tear duct. That shade is really beautiful when it is wet, but I don't want too much brightness on my inner tear duct just a tad. I'm going to go in with this liquid shadow by Pixi. Mine is in the shade Crystalline and it is just a beautiful, beautiful, it has like rainbow glitters all through it, but it has like a sheer base. Um, Stila has one that's very similar as well. So I'm going to be putting this all over the eye. What I'm going to do is wipe off the product so there's not a lot of product on the wand so it can stay kind of um, sheer and not too concentrated and I'm going to put it on the entire lid and then just quickly spread it out and I'm going to wing it out just a tad. And very quickly before it dries, I'm going to be going in with this NYX, NYX glitter and it just says 06 on the bottom of mine. I'm going to use my finger and tap it just in the very center of my lid to add lots of dimension to the eye just in the very, very center of my lid. And I do have a little bit of 
um, wetness on my finger from that from touching my eyelid so I'm just gonna kind of go up in the crease and pat a little bit on the crease as well for the liner I'm gonna be using these two liquid lipsticks so one is a wet n wild liquid lipstick in the shade Emerald City they did come out with a couple green liquid lipsticks and then I'm gonna be using this pixie liquid lipstick in real red so so pretty this is going to be the same shade that I'm going to be using on my lips as well. So use whatever you have. If you can find eyeliners, liquid lipsticks, um, like I know people use body paints that dry down during Halloween time. You can use something like that. But just anything that's kind of like that. Or even maybe if you want to get really creative, you could probably use maybe concealer and then mix in some eyeshadow to make it that color but I'm gonna be using these two so going in with a old eyebrow pencil I'm gonna be using the tip of the eyebrow pencil to dot it into the liquid um, lipstick and then I'm gonna be dotting on eyeliner so we're gonna start off with the green shade and I'm gonna just dot, this is gonna be really, really hard to film, but I'm gonna do it like this, where I'm gonna just add little dots along my eyelid and then wing it out with bigger dots. So it's gonna be kinda hard <laughs> to show on camera, but I'm gonna try to be in frame as much as possible during this part. I think I'm gonna zoom you guys out just a little bit so I make sure that I'm in frame while I'm filming this part because it is really hard to stay in frame for this part. But see how it's just little teeny dots along my lash line? So I'm gonna go in with the green and I'm just gonna alternate. So I'm gonna do one on the lash line that's green, one above it, and one down like that. So I'm leaving space to fill the red in. It's just little dots and leaving space. Um, the brow, the end of the brow tip is gonna really help you get around um, thing. But if the ones along the lash line are not perfect, don't worry because when you put mascara on, it kind of hides any little imperfections. You can wear lashes with this look, but I feel like the lashes might kind of cover up all the work you're doing on the liner. So there's the green, and honestly, you can just leave it like this if you want a very sparse dotted um, eyeliner. I think just the green by itself would be really cute, but I'm gonna add in some red now just to be a little bit extra. This eye definitely is not coming out as good as this one because it's so hard to film. When I was filming this eye, I had the mirror like right up next to my face, but since I have to hold it away so you guys can see what I'm doing, it's so hard. And I'm just going to kind of enlarge the outer wing balls just because I felt like it looked better than having really small ones. Hopefully that was helpful that I got up close like that. I definitely like this side better than this side just because it's so hard to film. 
This one's a pixie one. I'm gonna just go in and add a black eyeliner to my tight line. I'm gonna add a nude one to the waterline. I'm gonna take a little bit of the same brown color that I used in my crease and just lightly put a teeny bit right into the lash line. I'm not gonna blow it out how I always do. I always blow out my lower um, shadow, but I'm just gonna kinda keep it very light and kind of close to my eye. I'm not blowing it out crazy. Now for the last part of the eye, the red mascara is super easy. I'm gonna take the brush side of the eye pencil that we were using for the eyeliner. I'm gonna rub it through the red lipstick and then I'm gonna just lightly and very carefully brush it across my lashes and it's just gonna tint my lashes a little bit red. It's not super noticeable, but it does look cute. And I feel like it kind of helps tie the look together. I really hope I'm in frame right now. Now I'm just gonna put a few coats of mascara. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Falsies Mascara on the top lashes, and that's gonna complete the eye look. So it was like easy, and it didn't take too much time to do, but it is super festive, and there's a lot going on. So I wanted something that was easy, yet it looks like you tried. Okay guys, now I'm gonna do some blush and highlighter, and we'll finish up with the lip, and we'll be all done. I really hope somebody doesn't have a look similar to this. I was like looking up Christmas looks because I didn't want to do something that looks just like someone else's. And there was like all the ideas I had in my head, people have already done. I googled like, uh, three different hashtags on Instagram. I googled like red lips. This was like a few days ago. I googled red lips. I googled, I think, Christmas makeup and candy cane liner. There were so many candy cane liners. That's what I originally wanted to do. So I really hope this is something that you guys haven't seen yet, but who knows? Everybody's already done everything. Anyways, I'm gonna go into the Oakland blush palette and I'm gonna be using, I want a very pinky blush, so I might be mixing this one and this one together to kind of get a nice rosy blush color. So I'll just pop those two on the cheeks. I want to look like I, that's a lot of blush. <laughs> I wanna look like I was outside and I was freezing and I just so happened to be in my party makeup, so. I forgot how pigmented these blushes are. These blushes are so mega pigmented. So I just kind of put it on my nose and on my cheeks. So it just looks like I'm just a little bit cold and I was outside and it's snowing even though I live in Southern California. I'm just gonna go over it with my uh, regular face powder brush and just make sure it's blended in and just kind of go over it so it's not too, too intense. And I want this look to overall be not too warm toned. So I'm gonna go in with this highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Botanic Dream. It's a nice icy pink color. And I wanted the cheeks to be kind of cool toned, the eyes to be kind of cool toned. I didn't want this to be super warm because everybody does warm looks. I forgot what this highlighter looks like to be honest because I've only used it like once or twice but I'm hoping it's as icy as I remember. That's really pretty. So I'm just gonna kind of apply it around my temples and on my cheekbones. That is so pretty. Look at that highlight. It's so intense. I'm gonna put some on my chin. I think I wanna pop a little bit of this on my inner tear duct just to kind of bring the look together, but maybe just a little bit so it's not too, too intense, but just to bring that pinkiness by the eyes. That is really pretty. I'm gonna put some on the tip of my nose, kind of a lot because this is a holiday look and you can get away with wearing more makeup. Put it on the bridge and I'll put some on my cute as well. 
I've been skipping the Cupid's bow lately, I don't know why. Now I do think some faux freckles would be really, really cute with this look, but I'm just gonna keep it like this because I am going somewhere and I don't wanna mess it up. I'm gonna spritz my face really quick with this Catrice Prime and Fine Multitask Spray. I haven't used it. There, that's the first spray. I haven't used it yet, so I've been wanting to try this out, but I want my face to look nice and dewy. It's like a really heavy duty spray. It smells like something that I recognize but I can't think of what the smell is, but I know that smell. Okay, now I'm gonna be going in with that same uh, Pixi liquid lipstick and applying it to my mouth. Oh my gosh, my mirror is like covered in setting spray. So I don't have a red gloss. And the only gloss I could find in my collection that goes maybe with this kind of look um, was a pink gloss, and this is by Laura Mercier, so it's not drugstore. But I did get it as a Sephora points, uh, like, redeemed my rewards. So hopefully, since it was free, it's not ruining the drugstore makeup too bad. My suggestion when you're wanting to wear glossy lips for a really long time is to apply it over a liquid lipstick and then just dot it in the very center of your lips and your lips will look juicy and shiny but it will last a lot longer because it's not smearing around all over your lips and it's sticking to the liquid lipstick really well. So guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I hope you guys like it. Hopefully it's something kind of easy to do. Um, if you're like in a hurry to go to a holiday party, but that's still super glam and super kind of festive and glitzy. I love the very rosiness of this look. I think it'd be really cute with like a red outfit, pink, white, um, anything like that. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I do have a New Year's look that I'm going to be filming. It is going to be a glittery one. Um, I'm trying to dive into using glitters because I always stay away from glitters. And I'm really bored with makeup, so I've been trying to use more glitters in my life, and I've been loving it. So I do have a green New Year's look coming up. But yeah, until then, have a great day slash night, everybody. Bye.